I'm Brian Manning, co-founder of Two Blind Brothers. I turned a diagnosis of legal blindness into one of the fastest growing cause-driven companies in the country. I start every day at 6.30 with a hug from my fiance, Court. And then we spend 30 minutes just laughing and talking and setting daily goals. Then it's off for a run. It's where I get my most creative thinking done and it de-stresses me throughout the day. Whenever I have my headphones in, I am listening to an audiobook at two times speed. At 8.30, Court and I leave to go to work. We always stop at Dunkin' Donuts. When you're visually impaired, everyone is your best friend until you find out who they are. Never underestimate the power of small talk. It makes a big city feel like a small town. At 9.30, we have our team meeting. It's all about tweaking goals and updating on projects. Every week, we sit down and brainstorm new ideas for campaign and then immediately film. We try and get a new post up every three days. Lunchtime, and this is when I get through the majority of my emails. I use text-to-speech so I can listen at two or three hundred words a minute while I reply. It makes me more effective and frankly saves my vision for a little later in the day. This afternoon, Cord and I are spending a lot of time working on new product launches. It's a brand new fabrication that we've never used before, so it creates a few unique challenges, but more importantly, we want to make sure that the outfits are going to work together. Every day, I try and connect one person with a visual impairment because it can be profoundly lonely. So instead of talking about our eyesight, a fellow New Yorker and I spent 30 minutes complaining about the Mets. After work, we swing by the grocery store to pick up some ingredients. Court starts prepping and I start cooking. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. We never talk about work while cooking. It separates our personal and business lives. We do some wedding planning and then pack for a keynote Brad and I are giving on Wednesday in Austin. We play a hand or two of gin rummy and it's off to bed at 11 p.m. to have a little bit more fun tomorrow.